Welcome to All Car Review Channel. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Ram launched its 2019 1500 pickup earlier this year, and we've tested the Hemi powdered truck both on and off-road. But arguably the most noteworthy piece of the new truck puzzle is the E-Turk mild hybrid system, and that's what brings me to Lexington, Kentucky this week. From crowded streets through small towns to wide open highway runs, the Bluegrass State is a perfect place to test out the Ram's new hybrid hardware. The 48-volt mild hybrid system doesn't hinder the Ram 1500's on-road manners. Some regenerative braking systems are abrupt in engagement, making for jerky stops, and I've tested many a stop-start system with noticeable harshness during engine restart. But none of these are an issue in the Ram. Brake force is progressive, the reg and helpful in recharging the 430-watt-hour lithium-ion battery pack, and the stop-start system works with the 48-volt belt drive motor generator instead of a traditional starter, for quick, seamless power on transitions. On the expressways outside Lexington, cylinder deactivation is also mostly imperceptible when cruising at a steady 70 miles per hour. There's still a slight shudder when the Hemi V8 switches back and forth between 8 and 4 cylinder modes, but active frame mounted dampers absorb most vibrations and noise cancellation snuffs out the majority of the audible racket inside the cabin. Really, Ram's integration of the hybrid system is excellent and most people likely won't know it's working away behind the scenes. Don't need V8 power? Ram has you covered. The base 3.6-liter Pentastar V6 comes standard with e-torque, putting out 305 horsepower and 269 pound-feet of torque, and able to tow a respectable 7,750 pounds. A very brief drive in the V6 again impresses with the hybrid integration, mirroring the experience in the V8 with normal brake pedal behavior and brisk engine startups. On the road, the V6 e-torque behaves a lot like the V8 in that you don't really notice it all that much. There is a clear power difference between the two models, of course, but the V6 is by no means slow. What's the primary goal of all the E-Turk mild hybrid sorcery? Efficiency, of course. According to EPA estimates, the E-Turk system is good for a 2 mpg improvement in the city cycle with the V8, for 17 mpg, compared to 15 mpg in the standard Hemi model. On the highway, the Hemi by itself returns 22 mpg with two-wheel drive and 21 mpg with four-wheel drive, but with e-torque increases those figures to 23 mpg and 22 mpg, respectively. Official fuel economy numbers aren't available just yet for the V6, but Ram engineers say the e-torque setup should result in a small bump over the 2018 Ram 1500 V6 of 17 mpg city and 25 mpg highway EPA ratings. In addition to the slick drive a train, my 1500 limited test truck features luxury level ride comfort on its standard air suspension system that's optional on lower trim level. It also takes corners with competence, for a big truck, anyway, with controlled body roll, good grip on the 275 55ths or 20% stone dweller HL tires and satisfying steering heft in response. The cabin is incredibly spacious with the cab length growing by 4 inches for this generation Ram 1500, with 3 of those inches benefiting rear passengers. Speaking of backseat riders, they can now enjoy a flat floor and seat back that recline up to 8 degrees. Storage certainly isn't in short supply, with cubbies and pockets in the doors, and a center console that's configurable in 12 different ways, depending on what you need to stash. The interior is nice and quiet too, thanks to the Ram's improved aerodynamics, acoustic windshield and front side glass and active noise cancellation, which is all the better to enjoy in the limited comfy leather seats. V8 is now in V6 later, the all-new 2019 Ram 1500 begins at $33,390, including $1,695 destination for the V6 model that still doesn't hit dealerships for another couple of months. If you're one of the many people who don't want V6 and prefer the big 5.7-liter Hemi V8, that'll cost you an additional $1,195 and going all out for the V80 torque tax on yet another $1,450.
Ram 1500 production has been off to a rocky start, but V8 models are in showrooms now. Like every full-size pickup, the price tag can climb at an alarming rate. My very heavily optioned, range-topping limited test truck comes in at $68,340. That sounds like a lot, but is right in line with the full Zoot Ford F-150 Limited 4X4 that begins at $66,280. The pickup wars are fierce, with the Ram facing stiff competition from the aforementioned F-150, not to mention the completely redesigned Chevrolet Silverado and GMC Sierra. But no other truck offers electric assist right now, and that might be enough to give Ram a bit more competitive edge in this highly competitive segment.